myself from a magic horse trainer. Boom, boom, record myself that right there. Boom. So how'd you get into microbiology? Um, I started out pre-med. Okay. Then I wanted to be a PhD. Well, I went to optometry school for three months, hated it and quit. Okay. Then I took a micro class and I really liked it best. And then I got my master's in microbiology and public health after that. Okay. So are you used to making like, are you used to making regular people feel dumb or like, is that just me? Yeah, I'm it's a regular just, person. So <laughs> like I used to be already. Is that just me? No, I, I'm very, like, I'm like, I'm like book smart, but I have zero common sense. <laughs> I have a friend just like that. My friend Zach's like that. We went, went on uh, spring break together uh, not too long ago. And, uh, we were at an Airbnb, so like, you know, he's making breakfast, everybody's making their own eggs. So I actually was trying to make eggs. He's like, bro, is you make it for me? Like, bro, get up and make your own eggs. He's like, no. I don't know how to make eggs. <laughs> so we all looked at him like, holy crap, Zach's stupid. <laughs> yeah, but, Zach's stupid? He's a mama's boy. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Zach, Zach's just dumb. But uh, that's pretty cool. So, wow, microbiology. You're the first person. I, I have a lot of friends that are like medical majors mm-hmm. that take it, ace it. Don't enjoy it. Yeah. But you enjoy it. That's insane. And that forward, you're more like on the on the I'm a technician, yeah. Technician, okay. Yes. Alright, cool. Because my friends, um now is it is it a true statement that Fords have tranny issues? Is that just a, a rumor? Some of them do. Some of them? Mm-hmm. It's like specific model. My friend's fusion, not fusion, um not escape. Escape. Escape's not too much. Focus, fiestas, yes. Yeah? Yeah, the escape's not too much. Alright, cool. So let's say hypothetically speak, if I'm like Next possible car? Do you recommend Ford's cup now that you like, work with them? Uh, I don't have a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should do. I, I got a Mustang. Got a Mustang. So that's about it. <laughs> I drive a Jeep. So. Got a Mustang. And we got a, a Jeep and a Volkswagen. All right, so no Ford. <laughs> you, you know what it comes down to? Yeah. That goes for anybody. Anybody who works on their type of cars know all the problems it has. It and mm-hmm. same with any other deal. You get another mechanic from another. Dealer, he'll mm-hmm. tell you the same thing. He okay. Buy the same car. So I guess you, I guess it's just you've been too close to it. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Wow, that's insane. So how, how old are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, he's doing his he's homework. Doing his he's homework. eleven. Ele- you, you have homework in the summer? Well, he does well, some he's uh, got speed a reading. Class. Class. Really? Yeah. Well, because like you know, he did, uh, he goes by the grandparents, so like this lady like, keeps up. He has schoolwork to do. Like they give him the summer packet. Yeah. And stuff. But this is like a little class because he doesn't do like summer camp or anything. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that's that's awesome. Learning is great. <laughs> so it's it's ha- only five weeks, a couple hours, no, but it helps him that. when he goes to school. It really helps him. Wow. Yeah. Well, so you're eleven. You're going into seventh grade. That's right. Whoa. What school are you at? Our Lady of Hope. Our Lady of Hope, okay. In Middle Village. Okay, that's not close. No, not close. <laughs> well, he was over here, but the school's so small, it looks like they're closing, so like I transferred him to the other school mm. because there's not really that many. They just built one in the neighborhood, but it's too late for it because it's the yeah. lower grades. Okay, okay, but cool. It's doing... very crowded in this neighborhood now, like they're starting to build more schools. We said we needed schools 10 years ago. <laughs> and then 10 years later. Yeah, now, yeah, now that's yeah, no right. use to me. Oh, uh, wow. I'm schlepping to Middle Village. <laughs> That is insane. And uh, how long you guys been married for? 14 years. No, 15 is next year. Until your headphones are on. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's both for Alright, alright. So, how'd you guys meet? And that's it. I just want to know how you guys met. I love to hear the, the, the stories of how people meet. We met at a club at my friend's bachelorette party. She was on the bachelorette party. You was a stripper? No. <laughs> no, I can't pass that. Not even 15 years Not ago. <laughs> Uh, that, that would be the instant one. I was like, I was like, oh yes. <laughs> that would be a funny it's not story. Good, it's not that good. And then, then he's gonna text that story. You never guess how these yeah. stories. Everybody he knows, and that's how things go viral. <laughs> that's so funny. <clears throat> so what were you doing at a bachelor party then? I wasn't. We, was me and my buddy party. just walked into uh-huh. the club and we ran into them, and that's uh-huh. how we met, pretty much. Okay, so you walked up to her like, like I'm, take, take, I'm taking notes here. I'm talking. Yeah, so, well. so you walked up to her. <laughs> let me know. What did uh, I if say? you want to know, like, because I, I like to dance and he doesn't, so he uh. like he waited till the song was just almost over, danced like two seconds, and then t- said, let's go to bar. Oh, so okay. have to dance with me. That's a good. I'm, right, a, I'm that the dancer. I'm the dancer. <laughs> yeah, so you shouldn't have a problem. So I'm the dancer. I'm the I'm the person that like the like those like little 
female clicks that, like, you know, it's a bunch of f- five girls dance together. I hate those. I'm like, why, why do you come out? Bachelorette, there's five of them together. I'm like, why why you guys There was more. Fun? There was four at the packs. There's like 20 of us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> On I, a bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had, like, like four extroverts like me, I'd totally, like, all right, we're going to split apart this group. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're my They look out for each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping out the guys. Like, you know, right, right. Like, trying, to get a, get, trying to get their shot. Right. You know how intimidating it is to go up to, like, five, you know, ten you got to get approval from all of them. To be <laughs> not even there. joking. Yeah, yeah. One of the friends does not like you. All ten. You're done. Right. <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like you're applying for a job. It's the whole board of directors right there. <laughs> That's, That's what exactly. Like. <laughs> it's insane. Wow. Hey, she's just going, yes, yeah, she's not your life. <laughs> That's true. I, I totally do it because, like, because, like, um, like, my friends are, like, uh, well, my teammates, I play football at LIU. Okay. So, like, a lot of my teammates, we go out after the game, you know, we go out to the bars and, like, you know, they, I see them, like, they, like, sip their drink and just, like, look around. And I'm, like, dancing and having a good time. Right. I come over, whew, you can't out there? They're like, hey, nah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, what you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just hanging out, I'm just chilling. And then I notice that, you like, you know, the particular person that we continue, like, making eye contact with. So I'm like, oh, that hurt? Okay, give me five seconds. Let's just go over and should do something. And then they start talking. I'm like, all right, was that so hard? But, uh, but yeah, because my generation, I mean, I guess it didn't change much from older ones because, like, they're behind the screen all the time. You know, yeah, everybody's... Computers, phones, They don't whatever. even leave the house anymore. No, not at all. It's, it's, like, it's like, hey, can we, like, FaceTime until, right. like, meeting up? Yep. But, like, I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, as much as that's cool, you know, if you live out of the country, but I feel like, if you feel like that would block for me, I'll, right. I'll come over. Right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's a good point. See? Yeah, and yeah. People are screwed up nowadays. I did course in Queens Boulevard looking at their phone without even looking at it. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, you don't yeah. have any value for your life. Yeah. And I've seen, like, I saw this new thing on Instagram where, like, it's an invention where it's like a, a thing that wraps around your neck to hold your phone in place when oh, you're, so like, you standing up or, or in bed. You could be propped up. That's what and you I, I was looking at that thing. It's like, yeah, people were tagging their friends. Like, yo, you need this. I'm like, I'll, I'll, the day I die is the day I wear that thing around my neck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to be that attached to my phone. Like, if anything, I'm trying to learn how to detach myself. Gotcha. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Yeah, that stuff. like, I, I was born into it. So, like, I'm a part of it. But, like, I'm trying to find that, like, you start to realize who your real circle is when you, like, aren't connected to that. And, yep. like, you know, who texts you, who talks to you, like, when you're not right. in those social media platforms. But, all right, cool. Perfect. That was hilarious. <laughs> so, all right, cool. So, thank you guys so much. I'm about to bring some energy to your Friday night. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so before I get started, anything calculated, I have, like, a little mini timeline of my life. Those little, little collage of pictures. Synopsis of my life. So, this is the fam. I was little. Uh, it's me, my mom, my brother. It's me. I was a little kid. I had a big head. I still do, but I grew into it this time. So, uh, <laughs> so look what I got. Okay. So, so hopefully that happens. See, look, there's hope. <laughs> so, uh, you do what moms do best, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, super, super. So that's my mom's job. So yeah, mom is both mom and dad. She did both roles. I, I have huge respect for my mother because she like she did it. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I learned how hard work was at an early age. So as I got older, I always wanted to help out around the house, but I was a little kid, so I couldn't really do much to help out with the groceries and carrying them in. So when I got to high school, I tried out football. Here were to try, because my first year playing football, I sucked. I did not play. Now, um, my first year playing football, I played at Flushing High School, and uh, I tried it out. I played LB, left bench. And <laughs> uh, my mom just said, don't give up. If anything you do, work hard, and the hard work will pay off. So that's what I did. And by the time I was a senior, I played a lot more, and I was able to earn a scholarship at Long Island University, where I play now. Nice. So I currently play defensive line for them. So I hit LA is a cool. very good school. Yeah. A lot of our scientists come from where I came from, Wagner, mm. and the rest of them came from LIU and NYU. Yes. So we got three kinds of people at the like, LIU, NYU, yeah, and they're, Wagner. They're, they're the program, but they're, their medical program is intense. Intense. Very. Uh, I know because I, I tried physical therapy my first semester. My mom wanted me to do something medical. I was like, yeah, mom, I'll try it. Yeah, no. <laughs> First semester, change the finance. I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do some business, mom. What's You're probably it? better off, trust me. Yeah, yeah, um, because like uh, I took my first lab practical. I didn't even take. I took one. Got like a 34. Now I didn't really study, but I, I thought about it. I'm like, it goes uphill from here. So, yeah, I'm changing my major <laughs> now. With my scholarship at post out of 52,000, thank God, I did not pay 52 grand. I'd pay about seven a year. Not bad. Now, my mom doesn't pay a cent out of that because I'm a big boy now to care my own expenses. So I do that through Cutco. So basically with this company, uh, I started when I was 17, right? They give you like a little bit of money for showing it. You got like a percentage of sales. So you just show it to a lot of people. That's the main goal. And uh, either way you get paid. So I was like, all right, I could do that. So my first summer, I showed a lot of people. I sold over 25000 of stuff, right? Did pretty well my first summer. 
Now, I didn't have a car when I first started, but these are all in-home presentations. Right. Now, how do you guys think I got to each person's house when I first started? Bus, Just walking, train. bicycle? <laughs> bike. Everywhere. Like, I used to have, like, a bag full, like, knives and cookware. <laughs> I used to go all over Queens, Brooklyn, Long Island, too. I used to go, like, the South Shore Long Island, like, the Baldwin and Freeport on my bike, which wow. is insane, because we're talking, like, I don't know if you guys remember, 2015 summer was a heat wave. So, I was drenched each time I showed up to somebody's house. And uh, uh, they'd be like, hey, you want water? You want coffee? You want a shower? I'm like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was pretty good with that. That I had Old Spice hold me down. <laughs> now, my second summer, I got my first car. They give scholarships to the top 50 reps. So my second summer, I was number 38 in the country. So I did better my second summer because I wasn't as sweaty. Now, this is a brochure <laughs> for my third summer. As you can see, 38 is not me because my third summer, I did a lot better. Let's see if you guys can find me on here. We gotta be a piss someone. Here you are. Boom. Oh, seven. Climbed it up. Wow. Seven. It was amazing. Nice. Uh, because like out of forty thousand colleges all over the country, it's blessed up to be number seven. And uh, this is like super, super competitive too. So like it's it was insane. Because the fact that like uh, did it? Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, he don't look happy. He, he <laughs> should she be smiling? Right. <laughs> Like, yeah, and I, the fact is, like, I go to football camp in August. So I, I lose, like, a month from the contest, but I was blessed enough to be able to be number seven uh, with, like, a month left than most of the students. If I had another month, I definitely probably would have beat Kyle, but I'm still good with seven. Now, um, of course, doing these presentations, playing football, and, like, getting my grades up is a lot to juggle. So you need some kind of motivation. My number one motivator is my mom. I'm a huge mama's boy. She's what we got, all right? And my number two motivator is my friend I used to play football with. So... His name is Marcus. I'm actually using this little picture right here. It's mm -hmm. like graduation. So Marcus, we were boys. Like, like the definition of like, like brother from another mother, that was my guy. So before we graduated, we were both very good football players. So we made a promise to each other that one of us is going to make it big, whether it's like football or like business. Be that person. So um, I never forget that promise because um, on October 31st in 2015, Marcus and his neighbor, his best friend Peyton, were both shot in front of his house in Rosedale, Queens. Oh, my so, God. Yeah, he passed away that year. And uh, I never forget the promise because he doesn't have the opportunity anymore, but I do. Right. So I take full advantage of it. So like when I tell people thank you, it's coming from a deep place. I really do mean thank you guys. So yeah, um, he passed me that Wednesday, his friend passed me that night. Right. Now I used to really push me because every day is a new opportunity, a new blessing. Uh, sometimes it's easy to take for granted, but I try to hold on, clench to it as hard as I can. Now one of my favorite quotes by Eric Thomas, he's a motivational speaker, is that you have to be willing to sacrifice who you are, who you want to become. Because, like, right now I consider myself in the grind where, like, I'm building the future of my, my future family and everything like that. So I'm grinding my way through. Now, speaking of the grind, <laughs> that's my first car. As you can see, not much of a car anymore. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but last year, March, we had a big snowstorm over, like, a foot of snow, like, March 14th, yes, 2017. I think so. So the day after the storm, they cleaned the roads on my school at LIU, but they didn't put salt down yet. So my car was, like, front-wheel drive, okay tires, come on a corner, it's, it hit black ice, it spun out. Hit a curb, flipped up in the air, hit a tree, stop. Now, I was in there. God's grace, no scratches, no bruises, no broken bones. It was totally fine. Yeah, my mom did the same thing when she saw that picture. Uh, it was insane. Now, I never forget this because that day I had three presentations. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get there. <laughs> so I, I, I could have called to cancel, but nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I had one of my friends, Anthony, he drove halfway to the other half, made all three presentations. I uh, did like over 3K that day. That was an awesome day because adversity hits to see how bad you want it. But I wasn't letting a car accident stop me. So uh, this is uh, Abel's life in a nutshell. This is a mama's boy from Queens working his way out. <laughs> uh, you know, grinding my way through to kind of like lead by example. Because like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, uh, it's not going to be, as you guys know, it's not handed to you. You know, you got to go out and get it. You got to go out and get it. So um, this collage of pictures over here, uh, some like my past, like top people. Uh, top four got over 2K stuff for me. Uh, everybody has like over a grand. So uh, yeah, a lot of big happy happy faces. Got to do smile a lot. <laughs> so yeah, um, have you guys, oh, a contest, forgot to mention. So we just finished a push period where last week we had a conference and uh, my goal for that conference was a 17 and a half day period where I was trying to do like a lot of presentations. So my goal was to sell 25K. I didn't hit my goal. I got to about 15. Uh, I have to update this. I got to about 15. So before I go back to football camp, I'm trying to bridge that gap. So now I'm at almost 20, so I'm like almost 5K away from my goal. So yeah, just get like one night for me for five grand to hit my goal. 
right? Obviously, I'm joking. Good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> she's like, she's like, wait, what? <laughs> now, Cutco's really awesome. So, yeah, they, they do have really good cutlery. We have forever flatware and also awesome cookware, too. So, Hawaiian cooks up in the kitchen and the house. Now, have you guys ever heard of Cutco before I got here? No. No. All right, awesome. Let me first want to show it to you. Now, can you look behind here? Can you see me in that thing? Yeah. Can you see me? Am I, mm -hmm. am I out of the picture here? There, you're a little bit off this A little side. bit off, so I'll just like, scoot it. All right, cool. You're good. All right, awesome. So, now, Cuckoo's been around. Cuckoo's great. Um, so, yeah, Cuckoo's in Dover, she's made customers all across America. Uh, I think Christina says she had her set for 25 years. Yeah, she had Cuckoo for a while. Yeah, for a very long time, because I think um, Tony used to do it back in the day. So, so yeah, Cuckoo's been around for a while. Now, they're not the oldest, though. The lady I just came from, actually, the lady before you guys, she had her set for 30 plus years. And still around. Cutco lasts a really long time, is what they're known for. Now, the company is actually based in America. They're based in upstate New York. Have you guys ever heard of a town called Olean? No. Me either, before I started working here. <laughs> so, we'll talk about Buffalo. Been around since 1949. So, they've been making this stuff for a long time. Is that far off, like Buffalo? It's like, yeah, it's like I went to factory uh, two years ago in November. So, yeah, it's like a five hour drive. So, yeah, it's not too far. Now, they're part of the Direct Selling Association, so we don't sell stores, only the nice people recommend it to. So, thank you guys so much again. Later on, I recommend all your nice friends as long as they do not throw knives at me. My only condition they can laugh, they can have cute kids, no knife throwers. Nice people? Okay, great. <laughs> so, yeah, and if they feed me, oh, yeah, that's a plus. Um, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> now, Cutco is very high quality, that's why they can last like, you know, years on years. So, if anything, quality, you guys know, cheap things aren't good, good things aren't cheap. Cutco is really good. So they're also very, 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 very expensive because you get them once, never have to get them again. Now, four promises that everyone I show this to, number one, I'm going to be the holiday your day. Hope I'm working my way towards that. Number two is that I'm, my main goal, honestly, is to get invited to dinner. I could always eat like later tonight. Let me know. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, number three, like I said, nice people later on that won't throw knives. Number four. We have different sets depending on the person. So, you know, let me know what you guys like the best. You'll ever get your, your favorite set today. Now, does this drawer look like a drawer you might have in your kitchen? Close. Kind of, sort of, right? <laughs> now, uh, yeah, the junk drawer just pops up over time. Now, do you guys have any wooden handle knives in the house? No, no we Good. got rid of all those. Good, the wood super unsanitary, as you know, is very porous, it's always moisture back to your odors, everything. Carbon steel is a strong steel, but they're not stainless, so they rust, as you know. Now, stainless steel like you guys have is not supposed to rust. Yeah, and they still Yeah, and they rust yeah. everything we they're have, still right? Good. Yeah. How many of those sets we went through? We go through yeah, those it's kinds insane. Of things. They, it's insane. They, and they, they're not cheap, cheap either. Yeah, because they, they want that to happen. They want you to keep buying, 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 replacing. So over the course of time, you know, it adds up to a lot of money. Now, the serrated edges, they kind of cut like saws, they kind of rip and tear at your food. Mm -hmm. While the straight ones cut clean, but when the straight edges, when they start to lose their edge, you take a lot more pressure to cut with. Yeah. That's how you hurt yourself in the kitchen. You use a lot more power, you don't have any control. That's how a sharper tool is a lot safer. Now, don't ever leave one of these handles close to the stove because it will melt, right? They also get pretty slippery when they're wet too. So that, they become like very dangerous tools because like, like I said before, that we made the last that long. Now, the good, th the good news is, I'm gonna show you how Cutco's fix all these problems. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually not sharp. Um, question, do you have any water by any chance? I'm gonna have to bring some water. You want bottled water? Doesn't matter, huh? You're gonna drink it? I'm gonna sip it, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm gonna get some bottled water, Jake. You want some water too? You want more? I would appreciate it, thank you. Well, yeah, any water. Yeah, because we have the seltzer in the house. Do you like play with seltzer? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Like he's, not, he's gonna get the right yeah, yeah. So I, was, okay, I have like I have like seltzer. He's like my mom's. My mom loves seltzer. I haven't developed a passion for it yet. I tried. I tried. So seltzer is like it's just like the bubbliness made me think like it's gonna be soda, but it's, then it's like not. So, <laughs> so I'm just like I can't have my emotions play like that. So you're just an athlete. This is like you, you want soda. No, no, I don't. I don't. I drink a lot of water actually. It's Good. just the fact that seltzer is just like what's the point? I don't know. What are the little benefits of seltzer, actually? It's not soda. <laughs> it's not soda, see? I mean, I get, every time you drink a soda, you gain how much weight? Oh, yeah, soda has crazy You get all these calorie shit. crazy, you know? I don't know, Italians drink seltzer, like, with all food, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah di It helps digest, I, I don't like the bubbles, that's all. The bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. It's the bubbles. <laughs> Like in Italy, they'll ask you, you know, you want aqua minerale con gas or senza gas, like uh, with or without the bubbles. That's what uh, they want. So okay. regular mineral water or, or you know. Okay, so I'd be like a bubbleless kind of guy. Yeah, like, no, bubbles. Like bubbles, no. no bubbles. No bubbles. 
Uh, champagne, maybe. But uh, <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna show you guys actually um, to show the quality of our stuff, right? It's actually not sharp though. If you feel it, it's not sharp. Feel the blade, not sharp. Mm -hmm. No, but they're very strong. Mm -hmm. Our stuff is made of high carbon surgical stainless steel, the same which is the scalp was in the hospital. So let's say if I have a penny, where my penny go? Right here. You guys ready? Go ahead. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm able, besides my name, to cut through things like pennies. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, of course, wow. you're probably not cutting a penny in your kitchen. Right. <laughs> Showing you what it could do, right? So we're talking fish, we're talking bone, broccoli, parsley, little plastic packages that the kids' toys come into. Easy. Now I'm left handed. Let's go for both lefties and righties. Cool. Oh, get out of here, really? Yeah. So they're lefties and righties. Very, very heavy my duty. My sisters are two lefties. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's uh, good for both. It's very heavy duty as you That's feel. Cool. Um, now all of our stuff is also dishwasher and detergent safe. So you have to worry about that. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know people don't like to wash their stuff. They just throw it in the dishwasher. So yeah, dishwasher safe. Now one of the cool things about those is that bar those are quick. Nice. Yeah. Now these are so expensive though. I have to warn people that sometimes people just buy half at a time. I'm joking. <laughs> they come apart because you clean it, so you take them apart, you clean them, put it back together. That's actually extremely important, believe yeah. it or not. You can get in yeah. between them. Yeah. Exactly. That's a lot nice. of those that's like, really don't come nice apart. One. Now, that's just a little taste of cupcake. That's the tip of the iceberg. Now we're about to have some real fun. So the first two we and have... And I said, Christina, why am I putting a penny in the refrigerator? She I'm not going to tell you because uh, I ain't going to spoil it. She said that. Because you're not going to believe it when you see it. My so holy. just do what he says. <laughs> yes. And you're going to be like, and then you're going to be like... Yes. <laughs> Yeah, she held it down. I didn't tell you. See it? Over. There you go. Hold that for me. Nice. Now. Oh, look at the handle. The handle's nice. Yeah, if you grip the handle, right, it's ergonomically designed to fit into your hand. That's awesome. So, yeah, we made like that because we thought if your hand isn't flat, why the hell should my handle be flat? <laughs> so that way it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more secure. Sure. Now, the material of the handle is not plastic or wood. Can you guys guess what kind of material the handle's made out of? Take a wild guess. If it's not plastic and it's not wood, It can't be silicone, it's too hot to be silicone. Let's see if you can get it. No. Fill it out, let's see. Let's see. No. Not the handle, not the handle. All right, give you guys a hint. Fiberglass? No. Uh, not quite. Have you guys ever been bowling before? Yeah. yeah. The same as the bowling balls, both film or resin. Now, when is the last time you guys broke a bowling ball? Okay. Ever break one? No. Okay, great. So you're probably not going to break one of our handles. I hope not. <laughs> this material because it's a lot stronger, it's going to last a lot longer. Now, it's also non porous, so nothing is going to get inside. Exactly, exactly. yeah. It's very awesome. sanitary. Yeah. The rivets are made of an aluminum nickel alloy. Basically, the same too as an airplane rivet, so it's very light and strong. The blade is off the whole handle, so I'm more secure. Now, the blade material is the same as the scissors, but this actually has a blade on it. Now, the blade kind of looks serrated, right? Keyword is look, because they actually cut totally different. I like to do a little cutting test where I cut some rope. I use rope because it's pretty thick and it's not gonna damage any tools so it shows a good comparison. So I want you for me with your straight edge. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cut this for me. I want you to count how many times she goes forward and backwards. So straight edges they cut but they take more pressure to cut with. A lot of elbow grease and it's okay you can stop. <laughs> okay. Uh how many was that so far? It was about 25, 26. Right, so let's say we got like Let's say a hundred strokes later, we would've got through. Now, I think with straight edges that the main thing is they cut clean, but they take more pressure to cut with. Mm -hmm. Now, the serrated That's ones- That's how I got caught at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah use a lot of pressure. The serrated ones cut faster, but they you cut differently. It yeah, yeah, exactly, it cuts like a saw. A yeah, it shreds, it shreds it apart. Mm -hmm. So it's like a hand saw, basically. Mm -hmm. Now, so yeah, that's why you don't have to use those except for bread. Now, with our double durability edge, all I want you to do, is start from the back of the blade, start from here. I want you to press down hard and pull one time. Let's pull. You have to press down that hard. <laughs> yeah, you just slide back. Nice. Now, if you notice, cuts really clean. clean, clean. Cuts really fast because it's not serrated. Because the way these knives work is that they use the teeth to cut. That's why it pulls and yanks at it, right? The way ours are designed is that there's, th there's three blades in between each of the points. So if you look closely, you can see the little blade in between. Right? Oh, yeah. So the blade that cuts forwards, backwards, and down cuts in every direction at the same time. So what happens is it does most of the work for you, right? As long as you move it, it always cuts. Now, because the points protect the blade, these these things like if it touches like a countertop or a plate, the blades between so it doesn't damage the blade. That's how they can go twenty plus years and be fine. 
pretty much. Now, the cool thing is with Cutco, the quality is not the best thing. The quality is really good, but I think the guarantee is the best thing that they do because we don't do like a, a lifetime warranty because those things mean like limited lifetime means lifetime of the product. So when the product breaks or dies, the warranty is void. With us, we do a forever guarantee, it means it's generational. So when that little guy gets married one day, I know it's a long time from now, it's gonna happen, right? You pass it down to family, we still cover them. Like, no, it's like, not my baby. <laughs> but, my uh, yeah. getting mad. I got enough to deal with that shit. <laughs> so yeah, it's a generational guarantee, basically. So uh, with us, we do free replacements with anything in your set, whether it's a year from now or 20 years from now. The replacement's always free with us, right? If you ever need sharpening, my son or daughter in 30 years come to the house here and sharpen it for you, or you can send it upstate New York, get it back in my week, whichever you preferred. Now, misuse and abuse, how this is going to apply to you guys, basically, don't use our stuff to cut down trees. Don't, don't use it for crazy stuff. If you ever break one of your cutco tools because like it's not made for, you pay half price for a new tool. Basically, just don't do it. Because uh, that stuff's really good. I've seen videos of people chop down a tree at our cleaver. It's insane. <laughs> now, test drive. Have you guys ever tested over a car before? Probably, right? How long does a test drive usually last? A couple minutes, five minutes. Five, ten minutes, right? Now, imagine if you test drive your favorite car for three weeks without buying it first. You do a lot of driving, right? That's a lot of driving. Like, with us, we do the same thing. Let's try your favorite set for three weeks in the kitchen. No, don't buy it first. You put down a deposit, try it out. Try it out. They're yours for three weeks. And then three weeks, you cook everything and buy meal for dinner, right? Don't forget about the board. <laughs> um, <laughs> after the three weeks, so say, for example, if your husband wasn't crazy about Cutco, you keep the knife, send him back, we'll take care of him for you. Right? <laughs> totally joking, of course. Now, for any reason you weren't crazy about it, of course, you get a 40 year deposit, send it back. But most people, they love it and have it in the family for 20 plus years. Now, what do you guys think of our forever guarantee? I like it. Have you guys ever heard of another company besides Cuckoo that does this kind of guarantee? No, no. not really. It is insane. Sears used to do something sort of similar, like, yeah. similar, but it wasn't the full like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Sears they used to some old craftsmen. Now it's the they old used, school craftsmen. They used to do it, like, but they stopped doing they that. They stopped doing it, right? Yeah. they I'm, don't make it like they used to. Exactly, exactly. Most things aren't made like they used to. They're made for it right. to be replaced or right. they right. repaired. They exactly. buying it over and over again. And then like the little purchases over time add up to so much, right? Well, how many nights have we gone through already? Three or four. Three or four. It's, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Now, Cuckoo's one of the few things you could buy once, half of the rest of your life and never have to pay for again. It's one of the reasons why I love it. Now, are you guys have a family seeing the next 20 years? You guys are cooking a lot, entertaining a lot, kind of like average or just cook when I have to? What kind of family are you guys? We got to, we got to, well, we, we cook she for just us, day. but I cook every day. Cool. And then, but we have family gatherings and just, just us is 23 people. Because I have, I have three siblings. He's got one. So we have the parents. Oh, right. So, so when house. I do do a yeah. big full house, okay. when I see, it's just the three of us. Yeah. But when I do do, I have like a few times a year I have. Okay, cool. So mm -hmm. what kind of, what kind of things you do? All right. So obviously you get chickens, you got your steaks once in a while. You guys, uh, you guys ever do like squashes, yams, sweet potatoes sometimes? So do they, that kind of stuff? Yeah? yeah. Sometimes? Cool. Do you ever have to, uh, do you ever fillet yourself? Do you ever like fillet fish or fillet, fillet your own meats? No, because it makes a mess. I can't do it. Okay, cool. So it's like you don't have the choice to. Okay. So we have three top sets. We have our basic, if you don't really do much of anything. We have our average in between and we have our complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between the average and the complete. So I'm going to fly through these real quick. So. Boom, start it off simple, pair knife for your fruits. Mm -hmm. Now if you notice, it has a long handle. A lot of short knives have short handles, I have no idea why. My hands don't shrink, yeah. so why is my handle? So I can control over the blade. Now that's great for stuff in the air, but not so good on the cutting board. That's where you have the next one you set. Now, you ever cut a very soft ripe tomato? I kind of squish it because it's so soft. Yeah, it makes It's one nice. of the most annoying things ever. Hold that for me. That trimmer, you don't have to ever worry about that. You have tomatoes? Yeah, cool. So, right, we got some tomatoes. Oh, boom. Oh, awesome. So, got a little tomato. So, make some space on this thing. So, what I want you to do is, is try to make some nice thin slices with this. Now, with Cutco, you don't need a lot of pressure. The more you slide it, the more it works. So, yeah, just let the blade kind of like, yeah. So, yeah, go for, you can go forwards too. Go backwards, go forward, exactly. Nice. You don't need the pressure. You're used to it, but you don't need it. Because the blade cuts in every direction. Wow. So like, nice. it's never gonna squish or pop out of the tomato ever again. Also good for the lemons and limes, it's trimming the fat of the meat too. Now, I personally 
you ever have a sandwich once in a while? Yes. Cool. He's like looking at me like, <laughs> so assuming you're the next favorite tool. Now this thing's great because it has a wine blade for spreading like mayo, peanut butter, whatever. It actually has this blade on it too. So bagels you cut through, brownies, cakes you cut through. Yeah. That's blade. got a blade on it? Yeah, you yeah. see. Get out. Easy. That's cool. And it's flexible. So even baking, a lasagna, just scoop right on there, scoop it out, very easy. And if you ever lose your mirror, you're good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <pretty> <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> Nice. Now, the next tool I love to show is, uh, we call it the cheese knife, but it's good for more than just cheese. Because cheese is very sticky. Potatoes, yes. onions stick yes. to the blade. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Has like little holes in it so things don't stick. Uh, question, do you have a potato by any chance? Yeah. Cool. Nice. So I like yeah. the white ones. The white oh ones. yeah, they got chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, they got oh flavors. yeah, the chocolate too? Chocolate and vanilla. Different flavors, like yeah. Nice. Oh, so yeah, it's got a potato, show you some cool stuff. That's really nice. All right, cool. I'm not crying yet, so I'm not going to cut the onion. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so if you notice, let's say if I'm going to slice some potato, it kind of just like glides right through. Nice. So yeah, here you go. Have some fun. Make some slices. So yeah, the more you slide it, oh, how nice. the more it works. <laughs> Oh, so nice. yeah, like you can make some sweet potato chips, some homemade fries. You can no, have that's really fun. important. You'd be surprised. Have some fun. I cut my whole finger at work with, with the same thing. Cause we're just supposed to have a cheese knife like this, mm -hmm. a cheese knife, and I had the big one with the dull edge, and I and you cut, forced it. Yeah. yeah, and I forced it through the wax, and it cut me, and I bled like really bad, and I had to go to the hospital. I got like the liquid stitches, and I had, I was out of work for two weeks. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, that's what Kako wants to avoid. Because with Kako, because you're more precise instead of powerful, if you do cut it, it's going to be like a little nick because you don't have a lot of power behind it. Too much yeah. force behind it. So you can it. stop or stuff like, so like, it, and there's no blade on the top too. So you can even slide it. So let's oh. say if you want to like, oh, cool. make some home fries, have some fun. Yeah, I do a little slice once in a while, you know. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool. Now for the harder stuff though, let's say if I have a pineapple, Let's say if I have sweet potatoes, say if I have spaghetti squash sometimes, those things are tough to cut. Yeah. So those, you might need a little bit of a heavy duty blade for that. So that's what we call the hardy slicer. All right, boom. Hold that for me. So why he's holding that? Uh, is it garbage that can toss this out? Yeah. yeah just clean that off, but because of pineapple, we're about to have fun. So yeah, thank you J-Lo for the pineapple. <laughs> oh, it looks ripe too. Boom. So you yeah, bring a, bring a, yeah, you just rinse it off, it's fine. And also bring like a little ball, cut some pineapple. You ever cut once in a while? Yeah, bones? No. <laughs> I, I, I'll cut the watermelon when we get it. The oh, okay. Oh, the melon knife? Yeah. Yeah, we have one of those too, so our melon knife, I'll show you it real quick. I call it the mini machete. The mini machete. Oh. Mm, right on. Wow, yeah. Look at that. That's a mega machete. <laughs> mini machete. All right, cool. We got the nice your pineapple, the heavy duty slicer. Yeah. Here you go. How do you normally cut it? You cut the head off? How do you do it? I don't. It's you don't? Right she buys it already cut. Let me give you a little, little demo of that. So, buying a pre cut, think about that you don't know who cuts your fruit. Right. You don't know what it went <laughs> So, yeah, through. you don't know what it went through, you know who cut it, and you know if they, if they cleaned it at before. So, stand up for me. I'll teach you how to cut a pineapple. Yeah, cut. We're going to teach you how to cut a pineapple. So, okay. what you want to do is, so there's a couple ways you can do it. So, um, how do you want to do it? You want to you make it to like slices? Slices? What do you think? Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter? All right, cool. <laughs> so, what I want you to do is, so start off, cut the head off. Yeah. So, with the hardest slicer, what you want to do is rock your way through. So, yeah. There you go. Nice. That's that Boom. easy. Exactly. I don't have anything that's gonna cut it like that. Boom! Get that, get the butt off. Nice, awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, this is nice and right. So yeah, what you do is you use this to hold the core, right? Now, with I say this could be a good tool. With a T carver, just carve it. So yeah, just take off the skin. Yeah. Just take off the skin. Yeah, just take it off. Yeah. The more you slide it, the more it works. Nice. Yeah, just take off the skin. Go around. Boom! Can you grab a bowl for us? So you gotta put it into a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make us like little slices. You get the blue ones, baby. Yeah. yeah. And like a little bag. Actually, I put it in here. Oh, is there, is there a hole in here? Yeah. That's 
<laughs> That's crazy. I'm putting it back in. It's falling back up. Okay. These are so yeah. nice. Boom. Boom. Okay. But yeah, so yeah, you can save a little money too because like buying stuff pre cut usually costs more. Yes. So, save a good amount of money, especially when it comes to fruits. Yeah, but when I try and do it myself, I make a tremendous mess and I end up throwing away most of the fruit. Yeah. Because I can't get it. Yeah, that's the thing. You, know, you have the right tool for the right job, it does make life a lot easier. So, let's turn this back up. Finish? This is really right. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. I saw food. He sells so food. food. <laughs> All, right, cool. All right, cool. So I'll make this nice and Cool. Well, you toss it in the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm baking it. Yeah. I just like to put it. Sauce with it? No, she does. Uh, I don't have to do anything. It's already done for me, and I get uh, portions. Oh, that's awesome. All right, cool. Boom. So we just had some fun with that. <laughs> so yeah, that was like the the, the heavy duty <laughs> slicer right now. Um, the one we use to skin it. That's more your regular tool. You can use this for your chicken, your small roasts. We call it the everyday knife. It's part of the turning fork for turning over the meat on the stove in the oven. This little fork supports up to 150 pounds of pressure. So even like the holiday turkey. You could like use it to pick it right up one fork easily. Um, boom. Now you get two different style choppers. You get like a, a French chef knife for your, your bigger veggies. You also do get like a little one too. I'll show you the smaller one because this is what I have with me. Um, the petites and toku for chopping your vegetables. Mm -hmm. So like you're coming red too? Yeah, the reds is, is exclusive. It's like a, a specialty thing for like our, our promotional item. But <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah for like these red. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so so yeah, you got like a petite one. You also get like a bigger French Chef. The holiday carving set. That's your spare tie in your car. You're not using that every day. It's only for the holidays. And you have 23 people here. Uh, <laughs> and then of course, to show you the fruit ninja already. And lastly, you have the little slicer. Well, the, the slicer is actually pretty long. Let's see if you ever do chicken cutlets or. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make my own cutlets. Usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pinch the blade, it's super thin. So yeah, Let's see how thin it is. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, pinch that. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's so, so cool. So, like, I'm talking like paper thin slices, like nice. as thin as you can go. You can make like literally deli meats right at home. It's insane. Now, of course, we have the super shears in this set because those things are beasts. <laughs> um, and then the, this set, you, these, you get the option between 10 steak knives or 10 table knives. Mm -hmm. So, steak knife and mm -hmm. boom, table knife. Now, they both can definitely cut steak. 